Hello. Uh, we're doing a little bit of an experiment today, and I apologize if my voice sounds really grody. I'm getting over a cold. I might just uh, take this out and put nice music over anyway. Um, but we'll see. So I was watching YouTube last night and came across a video that I had seen before from Peter Brown um, where he made a concrete uh, tea light holder, I guess. His wife took him to Pinterest land and uh, it ended up really cool. So I'm going to try to do something kind of similar with resin because I don't have concrete and I have resin. So uh, we'll try and do that. I'm using this clear polyester stuff which smells like death. So be sure you have a fan or work outdoors or wear a respirator because it's nasty. And I also have this Pearl X um, powder stuff that I use for various things uh, that the camera doesn't want to focus on that we're going to use to give it some color. The main body will be tissue, um, so it's not going to be entirely resin. And this is our mold back here, which is a plastic cup on top of like a glass glass that I've accidentally affixed to this paper with resin, but I can get that off later. So uh, let's go. I have a little scale down here as well that I can use to uh, measure out the resin. And this is the catalyst that will harden it. So let's get some in here. about 35 grams and I lost the instructions to this catalyst so I don't remember how much you're supposed to put in but hopefully it will work <laughs> we'll see anyway we've got popsicle sticks for stirring you don't want to use like nice cutlery because you'll ruin it so plastic or these popsicle sticks are really cheap. We'll put a good dash of the powder in there. And we'll stir this up really well. You want to make sure that you get everything off the sides. Stir it up really good. Because if it's not stirred up very well, then uh, we'll get it a little more in the camera. If it's not stirred up really well, then it won't set properly and you'll have soft spots. And nobody wants that with resin, you want it nice and hard. <laughs> okay. Scrape down the sides, get everything nice and mixed in. It's this nice black color. Hopefully it won't be too opaque, but we'll see what we end up with. Now I'm just going to take this tissue and stick it in here. I almost forgot something really important, which would have been a disaster. Um, I'm going to put some gloves on because, sorry, that's my cat coughing in the background. <laughs> Cough it up, buddy. Um, you don't want to get this stuff on your hands because you'll never get it off. It's a real pain in the ass. Don't do it. So, we'll get the tissue nice and soaked. Oh god, I got it on my leg. Tissue to the rescue. I just want to get this fully saturated. As saturated as you can, you can also... Um, if you can't get it fully saturated, you can pour some more resin on it after you've put it on. Kind of squish that around a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on here. Apologize for the bad angles. I'm still getting used to this whole camera business. 
just want to kind of scrunch it up a little bit on there. Get a nice shape that you like. Okay. So now that has to sit until it's cured all the way. Um, it can take anywhere from 24 to 48 to sometimes a week. 24 to 48 hours, I mean. Sometimes longer. It depends on the temperature. Usually in the summer it takes about 24 hours for this stuff to get nice and hard. Um, but it's January right now, so it's a little bit cold. So it might take a little bit longer. There's a little bit of resin left in here. I'm going to see if I can just kind of pour it on. Sometimes you get a cool effect um, if it kind of dribbles down the sides. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we're just gonna let that sit and cure and uh, I'll come back to it when it's dry. Okay, so I just took it off the mold. I'm sorry that I didn't film that, but um, it wasn't all that interesting. It was just me kind of fussing with a cup and that's I don't know. I don't know if you wanted to see that. But anyway, um, it's still very soft, as you can see. It's kind of tacky to the touch, um, but it is holding its shape, and that's why I took it off, because I didn't want it to get stuck solid to the cup, which um, did happen to this cup down here at the bottom that I showed you earlier. Um, this one, it got stuck because the resin solidified really hard, um, but I can heat that up and it'll become more plastic and I can get the cup off so it's not that big of a deal. But um, I didn't want that to happen with this because Lord knows I would never be able to get it off. So um, this is where we're at. Whoop! Crap. It's okay. This is where we're at at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to let it flatten the bottom back out and let it um, cure all the way, which will probably take a day or so. So I might come back to this tomorrow, although I have to work. So maybe over the weekend. Um, so I'm on my way out to the store right now to pick up, why aren't you focusing properly, to pick up, um, I don't know, the focus is being weird, pick up some tea lights to go in this and then uh, we'll come back to it when it's fully cured. Okay, so I am, if anything, incredibly impatient. It's still Thursday. I said I was going to let this um, harden, cure fully for a couple days, but yeah. Um, you can see it's, it's pretty squishy still, if I can get it to focus. No, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so it's still kind of squishy. There, we're focused now. Still squishy. It may not fully harden just because um, it's so thin because it's just tissue paper, but we'll see. Uh, I did something like this previously, but I used a couple layers so it did harden all the way, but I just wanted, I got some tea lights and I just wanted you to see what that looked like. I'm going to turn this light off real quick and see if the camera will keep up with it. So yeah, so that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of afraid to turn the rest of the lights off because I don't know if the camera will be okay. Hang on, I'll try that. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, so that looks cool. So yeah, I think it was a success. I might make a few more in different colors. I'll see if I can film that if I do. Um, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me try with resin. I've done a few other things that, uh, I don't know, I might try again at some point, but we'll see. So yeah, thanks for watching.